Welcome. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this day because this is for you guys. This is for you. I am proud to say I'm a nurse at Albany Met, but what breaks my heart is I see these nurses giving this exceptional care but losing part of themselves doing it. I see nurses short-staffed, overworked, abused. Lately, we have been put in a very difficult situation as we are frequently required to work overtime, despite New York having a prohibition against mandatory overtime. We have had shifts where only one nurse has been scheduled. We are doing what is necessary to compensate for everything that AMC does not give to us. Unfortunately, many have left our unit, victims of attrition from nurse burnout as a result of management doing a poor job at properly caring for their workforce. The contract is a human right. You have a right to negotiate with your employer, and your employer has no right to not sit at the table and bargain collectively in good faith. It is because of the ANA's code of ethics that I am compelled to speak today. Albany Medical Center has been experiencing a staffing crisis, and nurses are being asked to take on larger and larger patient assignments without regard to patient acuity. And experienced, qualified staff eventually look for employment elsewhere, leaving new nurses with limited experience to train the next generation. Nurses are raising their voices to advocate for the necessary changes to protect their patients. At the end of the day, what you're about to do in this contract will change people's lives that aren't even born yet. So the fight continues with the rest of the staff at Albany Med. We have a lot of PCAs, housekeeping, PSAs, respiratory therapists, the list goes on and on. And they all want fairness. The staff that we talk to, they, you know, 60% of their income, you know, goes to, to housing. Then they have very little money to survive the rest of the um, the month, and, and it's, we think it's wrong. I am an Albany Med employee in CCU for 38 years. Wow. The one constant oh, has stayed the same. We have always needed better staffing. We're in the richest state in the country and the richest country in the world. We can afford to pay the men and women who take care of the sick and injured members of our society a decent wage and give them respect on the job. As a staff, if we're happy, the hospital's happy. The money comes rolling in, management is happy. Management doesn't see that. They're blind to it, they looking at their bottom dollar. Mr. Barber received a $4.4 million in total compensation that same year. Now wait, wait, wait. We don't begrudge Mr. Barba. He has been a great asset to Albany Med and we were lucky to have him as our CEO. However, were the email Mr. Diesel, who sits on the board of directors, sent out explaining all of this to us employees, the reason he gave for this compensation package was to keep Mr. Barba and not lose him to another organization. So I know Albany Med's board of directors and Mr. Barba know and understand why it's important and how it's important to retain vital staff. They don't care if we leave for better opportunities because they can hire a new graduate for less money. Well, I'm here to tell you that the reason why Albany Med nurses voted to unionize is because we love our jobs, we love our patients, and we love our co-workers. And despite management, we love Albany Medical Center. When it was time to put a down payment on a house, it was the union negotiated contract that made it possible for my family. So, you don't have to worry about me standing up for you and the unions because the unions have always stood up for me and my family. And when my son was a, a tiny baby, a newborn, he was in intensive care at Albany Med and uh, he was a nurse. I saw them working 12 hour shifts taking care of three and four uh, babies in the intensive care unit at once. I never saw a doctor in the whole weekend we were there. I did get a lot of bills from a lot of doctors, but I didn't see any, but I don't want to. I'm often in a room for an hour or more at one time to assist, support, and educate these new parents. We women's health nurses are the only nurses in the hospital who can help these families. We do not have a float pool. We do not get assistance from any other department in times of crisis. 
When we are pushed to care for patients in a one to four ratio or more, now that's eight patients, I struggle to give everyone the time they deserve. And this is also adding on to the fact that we do not only take your moms and babies, we take women from all ages who have had hysterectomies and other gynecological procedures, which is a whole different plan of care than the time required to support these new moms. Unfortunately, I continue to watch many talented nurses leave Albany Medical Center for better opportunities at other upstate unionized hospitals. Hospitals that allow for meaningful input from nurses on patient care and staffing, along with wages and benefits that far exceed what Albany Med is currently offering. You have 42,000 uh, nurses and the New York State Nurses Association behind you, but you also have a lot of nurses in New York State that are in a similar situation, that are inspired by you, that want to be represented by a union. You are truly an example to all those nurses who are struggling, especially in the northern and western parts of the state. Safe staffing is a predicament. That is why we are here to make a statement for Albany Med Center to respond appropriately and accept the fact that we need more nurses. We are